Hello everybody, this is Palm Springs Cindy, and yes, I may look a little different to you. Uh, the fun of it is that um, I was working with two gals to clean out my closet, and just to go through everything and then try to make sense of everything and straighten it all out. And in the meantime, while we were going through my closet, I found this wig and I was elated. Now the story behind this wig is that Eric had made a comment that he liked, he said, I think you would, we, we were somewhere and I had used filters on my hair and I put a blondish filter on my hair. Well, Eric was delighted and he said, I really think you'd look good as a blonde. So I was thinking, oh, really? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so not a blonde. But I ended up buying this wig. I think it was um, during uh, Halloween. And I think I got it on Amazon. You know, it was like, a, a, I don't think it was expensive at all, maybe $25. I will go, it's been a, quite a while since I bought this. But I'll research, I'll see if I can go back and find where I might have bought it and put it in my details. So anyway, then I was on, I've been so wanting this one wig from Raquel Welch. Very light pink. And I want the light pink wig so badly, but it's not inexpensive, it's like close to $500. So it's not something that I could buy for fun. But anyway, I was telling Eric about it. And and so I said, yeah, there's, there's this one wig that I saw it's pink and it's so cute, whatever. And he was like, oh, forget pink. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not into pink. So he's, so then when this blonde wig sort of showed up, I thought, oh yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna so figure out how to wear this. So I have my hair pulled up in a little ponytail. Then I pulled out my um, sides and my bangs. And so, uh, and so, <laughs> It's so fun. You know, where else, where else could I put on a blonde wig and do something like this, but on YouTube. So I thank you guys for letting, for allowing me to just sort of have fun with my different looks. And if you are the type that would like to play around with different looks and wonder what you would look like in a blonde wig, take a look at me because, um, you know, for fun, if you could find a list of, you know, a, li a lesser expensive wig, go for it. Give it a try, just like I've done. In the meantime, I want to take a, a, I want to let you know that in this video, you're going to be invited. Eric and I had dinner together the other night here at my house. Eric ordered out, spur of the moment, to this little taco truck that's down the street. I said, Eric, how far away is that taco truck? And he said, it's like maybe a mile. So it's one of those taco trucks that sit on the corner and they have put out um, like picnic benches, uh, cover, you know, like, uh, I don't want to say a tent, but like umbrellas to block the sun. So, and it, we've always thought whenever we drive by there, well, that place must be good because it's always crowded. So anyway, Eric said, I'm going to, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down there. So go for it. So I gave him my order and he went down and he said, well, it has a grade A and no one speaks English. So I had to take a little time to let the people figure out what I was ordering. And they, I ordered, well, it'll, it'll come up in the video. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about it right now. You guys are invited to dinner tonight with Eric and I. This is totally an impromptu dinner <laughs> and, an, and an impromptu video. Mm. But I got, um, actually, Eric and I have not seen each other in a while. Like, two, he's just said two weeks, yeah. And so he came over and, uh, and then in the middle of just, we were sitting on the patio and he said, are you hungry? And I was like, yeah, I could totally eat. So there is a, well, I'm gonna let him explain this to you. <laughs> so I went down to a taco truck. It's down the street from uh, Cindy's house at the stoplight. And so I went down there and uh, I've never tried it. Like how many miles? One. Oh, okay. About a mile. And so I got some birria tacos rice and beans and I got uh, Cindy a, a bean burrito and rice because she's vegetarian tonight and um, it's actually delicious three burrito tacos rice and beans and this 
gigantic bean burrito. For me, because that's what I like. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it was $16. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I Anyway, it's absolutely delicious. And um, I haven't done any filming on my channel yet because um, I've been um, indisposed. My back went out. So. Yes. And then we went to... Um, on my birthday, I got treated to a fantastic day at a uh, uh, spa and uh, had a uh, massage and facial. And uh, since then, my back's been absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to try to do that in the next uh, uh, week or so. Get some filming done and um, put it up on my channel. <laughs> okay, Eric, anyway, tell yes. them what a burrito taco is. A burrito taco. No, this. What kind of taco is that? This is birria. It's, um, usually they have a consomme with it. And what they do is they dip the um, taco, uh, the uh, tortilla, in the birria um, consomme. And then they put it on the grill and, and, and uh, heat it up. And then um, either you can have it without the consomme or you can have it with the consomme and what you do is you dip the taco in the consomme and then you you know it's absolutely great so if anybody hasn't had it um it's my favorite taco now how's it different from like a ground beef taco or a chicken taco because of the consomme yes because the, like the marinade the meat, meat the meat is 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 uh, done in the consomme. It picks up all the flavor they have in it, and I don't know how to make that. Uh, this has a lot more flavor, and then um, I really like a, a really nice hot um, uh, hot sauce on it. So um, anyway, this is very good. I can't, uh, and plus it's close. <laughs> We have a lot of good Mexican food in this area. It's, yeah, yes, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's as good as anything you can get in Mexico. Because actually when I went to the taco shop, they didn't speak English. Yeah. So I had to, <laughs> had to uh, you know, roll with that one. Anyway, it's absolutely good and we're gonna have dinner and uh, we'll talk afterwards. Now I am, I just said to Eric, we're gonna watch this movie because I, I actually had to, I rented it. And it's about, of course, you know, it's about World War II. And it's, uh, it's called Love It Was Not. And it's about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch over here. Okay. <laughs> Good. We're scooching together. Scooching together. <laughs> and it's called Love It Was Not. And so it's about, it's a true story. And it's about this um, rabbi's daughter who sang in the temple. And she has, evidently she has a beautiful voice. And so she gets, um, so she gets taken to the to Auschwitz. And the guards, something, it was somebody, one of the Nazis' birthdays. So they said, let's have a, entertainment tonight so they they put the word out you know who sings who plays an instrument whatever so the the women there were I think at this time there were only women in Auschwitz because these particular there were a thousand women brought in and they actually built part of Auschwitz so um they said well this one girl really sings well and so I forget her name but so they they tagged her and she sang and she sang the song in front of all the Nazi officers for this guy's party, birthday party. Well, this one Nazi officer just stared at her and he couldn't take his eyes off of her. So he, after all was said and done and the party was over and she started to leave, he, st he tapped her and said, would you, sing that song for me again, please. And she said, I couldn't believe that he, he like all of a sudden he was not a monster. Cause she said, I looked at the Nazis as monsters. 
And he actually was talked to me in a gentle voice. He said, please, he called me ma'am or whatever. So she's, she did, she's saying, well, she didn't have a choice, but so she's saying it to him again. And so well, anyway, the movie, you know, all everything I just said, is like the first minute or something. But the movie's about this love affair between this Nazi officer and this woman, this Jewish woman in prisoner in Auschwitz. Now, they're still alive, and they're, <clears throat> and so the documentary is going back and forth, interviewing them, their memories and things like that. And, well, anyway, so that that's what we're going to watch. We're just, we're, I'm, I'm not quite halfway through, so we'll finish watching it, and then I'll give you guys a review later. Very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but before that video, I want to share a couple things that I'm really liking, and maybe a few that I'm not. One of the things I want you to know about is I ordered this keto, these keto gummies. Now these are the ones that were on the Shark and the Kelly Clarkson episodes. You know, that they, I'm supposed to have two a day. And I could supposedly can lose 35 pounds in two weeks. <laughs> They're very sweet. They just taste like a yellow a lemony gummy bear. Two a day. I was so sick of seeing these commercials promising rapid weight loss, this, that. So I succumbed and I bought those and I will let you know how it turns out. One thing I'm definitely liking, if you get a chance, don't spend money on those crazy, well, I know they're a lot less expensive, but this is so good and there's quite a lot in here. It, um, TheraBreath Dentist Formulated. It's very, it comes in different flavors, but I, I have been using this for a long time. I really like it and I highly recommend it. Spend the money, it's very good. Another thing that I have to have is this Prevacid, or there are other brands to this, but bottom line, it is to help with acid indigestion. And if I take one of these in the morning when I wake up, like after I brush my teeth or whatever, it really does save my tummy for the rest of the day. So I highly recommend one of these acid reducers and they're not inexpensive. I usually buy the, um, the generic. Then sometimes when I'm at Walgreens, I, and I maybe need shampoo or bobby pins or whatever, hairspray, and I'm in the hair supply department, I like to pick these little packets up. These are good for one, sometimes two, if you're a little bit stingy. Um, these are very deep, intensive conditioning treatments. Now this one says argon oil from Morocco, whatever. But bottom line, it's a, it's a special treatment for your hair. And I find that it really does sink into, actually when I use one of these, I put it on my hair and it like, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say this, but my hair like totally absorbs it. And after a few minutes, I can hardly tell I have anything on my hair because my hair is, has completely eaten it up. So I highly recommend these little packets of hair conditioners. I think they're very good. They're very rich and healthy. My favorite soap ever. I get this at the, from the dollar store, Yardley. Um, lavender, I love this soap. When it comes to um, sun tanning products for your face, you cannot beat Clinique. It does not break my face out. It does not come on too strong, too light. You put it on like a lotion and I really, I have enjoyed this Clinique um, self sunning, self suntan. And now that it's getting to be close to summer, it's a time to use the, the self suntans. And you can use the self suntans all over your body, but Clinique is specially formulated for your face. Don't get anything that is, um, has glitter in it. The, this I've had forever. And I used the one that was, a. Uh, that did not have any glitter, it was flat, just a flat color. But I do I do like this color for my eyes. I don't get a glittery one. And speaking of that color for my eyes, I bought this and I cannot tell you 
how many of these pencils I have purchased. This is a roll up. But when I go to put it on my um, waterline, it's either too dry or when, if I actually can get some color out of it, the color is so light, it is not at all intense. You can't even see that I have anything on. So if and when you do buy a pencil, a lighter colored pencil like this, make sure you talk to the salesperson that you're getting and try it out or whatever, that you're getting an intense color that really shows up on your waterline and that will not dry out because these are too expensive to not work once you get home or after four days you get it out and you can't get any color off of it at all. It's just, you know, makeup is so pricey. What were we thinking? What was I thinking when I bought this stupid thing? Well, I'll tell you, I was thinking that you put it in the freezer and actually right now it's ice cold and it's, it's just what it's made out of. And that you get rid of the, the bags from your eyes after you wake up. You can get rid of your 11s. I'm not so sure it works because I've had it, I've had this by my bedside and you know, I'll, I'll like get it out. I mean, I reach over from my, to my um, nightstand and do this maybe before I get out of bed or before I go to sleep, you know, who knows, who knows? But I don't know that I would spend money on something like this again. Crazy, crazy. Okay, I was going through, you know, the clean out of my bathroom and some of the drawers. What I noticed was I had a lot of lipsticks and they were kind of like sampler lipsticks, I wanna say. Sometimes if I uh, saw, a, I see a color online, it comes with two other colors. So I have, now this is a Bobbi Brown. It looks quite neutral and that's what I was after. It's not a good color on me. Check this one out. This is um, from Face, same type of color. I was, I was really trying to go for that Bobbi Brown look, that real natural, earthy look. It just does not look good on me. And then this one is from, well, it's it, Nayu. This was one that came in a three pack. This has a little more color, but it's still a very, it's still very brick. And I'm not good with a red brown. So these are all, th those are not good. Here's a Revlon. I think it's a raisin color, raisin capture. I think I might have got this from my mother's makeup. But these are all the same color tones. None of them are good on me. I love this. This, and you can see my nails. I'm gonna be dunking my fingernails in this fingernail, ah, fingernail polish remover from Walgreens. You know, it's the sponge and you just dip your fingers down there and, and let them, you know, let the acetone sort of uh, just soak on your, on your nail polish for a while before you strip off the polish. And I like the way it works. I'm not gonna be using the, um, my gel machine anymore because just look, Look at this, it's, look at this. So I'm just gonna, I have some of this, some Sally Hansen. I'm gonna use this, it's a double duty, it says. So I'll just be using some clear. I'll be keeping my nails filed really nicely. My cuticles cropped, my cuticles uh, moisturized and that should help me get through this phase of me strengthening my nails out after all the years of acrylic nails. Lipstick I am loving. You know, I love these. These are these, I use this for lipstick and a liner. You can, you know, I line and then fill in with this pencil. I love these and I've used these for kind of a long time. And these are from Super, Super Stay Maybelline and as well as the lipstick. And I like these because this is a Super Stay lipstick. I have these in basically this color, uh, some a little bit lighter. But I have to say, I did order, um, I just ordered a lipstick from Lady Gaga because it's supposed to be long stay. 
and I'm excited. I, I ordered lipstick, I ordered a lip of eyeliner, and I ordered, I think, a brow liner. I ordered three things, and then they threw in something for free. So as soon as that arrives, I will be sure and share it with you guys. The first thing Poppy does in the morning, she wants to go sit outside in the backyard on one of the patio couches. Once we get, she will not go without me. I've already put a, vid a video or picture of her up in one of my videos, but this morning it was hysterical. We went out there, it was a little bit windy, and she just looked so cute sitting there on the couch. And I did take a video of her. So I'm going to share that with you guys. And I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my, what, what I'm liking and what I'm not. And P.S. I love you. And I hope you're liking my blonde hair. Until our next conversation. Bye-bye.